Salutations, everyone, and welcome back to Kaiser Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, but we got to talk about the Indian Revolution Committee. The Native people of America have been long been mistreated by the old capitalist government through the Bureau of Indian Affairs. They stole their land for the t for thee to turn a profit. Now that we've done away with the old Bureau of government, we can address the issue of the Native Americans. Thus, the Indian Revolution Committee has been created. The IRC, or the IRC, will work with the local tribes and communities about how to handle the abuses that the Bureau of government did and how the revolution and its ideals can be implemented within their territory. The revolution has come to the Native Americans. Very cool. At first I said Indian, so I thought like the Bharatiya commune, and they're doing, well, not that great. So that's what I kind of expected. China's so mess. I need to play more China. I really need to play more China. Kaiser Redux, Kaiser Reich, just... Also, I forgot about this. We're doing pretty well down here. Look at that. Uh, actually, no. Some of our guys are. Some of our guys aren't doing anything. Uh, and we have more divisions. Nice. Cool. Let's see. We're currently doing the next step. Uh, let's see. I don't remember if I read that one or not. So, we're victorious in a war against reactionaries and autocrats of this country. Now, America is at the forefront of the global syndicalist movement. To the north, imperials reign supreme, eager to take, retake their birthright. To the south, there is great turmoil, and we'll have to proceed with care. Across both oceans, mighty nations seek to dominate their neighbors. Where is their place in all this? I think I did read that one. Oh. Oh, well. Ah, we got Bristol, so they can't escape. Very nice, my friends. Very nice. And make sure these guys cannot escape either. Kill them off. And before we go over there, go there first. Kill them all off first. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. Invisible ink. Very nice. And the next step. Because we want to get involved in, this, in the, war, the war as fast as possible. Let's see. Friendship with Mexico. I think we read this one. Yeah, there should never be another Mexican-American war. Not too bad. So my goal is just to help out the Third International as much as possible with volunteers first. And then we'll see what happens. And as you see, I sent my tanks over here. Yeah, it's not looking good for these guys. But that's why I sent these guys over here too. Head on over. Make sure they can't escape. Got another division. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Um, eh, that's only two divisions at a time. Keep doing that for now. Actually, no, don't, don't make those. There you go. There you go. That's better. Let's see. All you guys. Well, you should be pretty good. You guys need to become 40 combat width. We don't have enough equipment, but that's okay. We'll work on it. We'll work on it. We're really going to be out of equipment now. We haven't had a good idea to do this, but whatever. It doesn't really matter at this point. That's what we're building for. Cool. All right, up next. It is 42, everyone, so hope you're having a great year. Let's get up to some of that. And we're going to need way more military factories now. And ships, still, still looking pretty darn good. You guys are still struggling. You guys are, well, I guess I might as well help them out. There you go. You really give them that extra little push. Travel in America with the revolution over and the reconstruction underway. Oh, Berlin's gone. A debate over the future of travels come up. Automotive unions believe that the cars will be the perfect vehicle for the new America, a symbol of the freedom that Americans fought for. However, the train unions contest that claim and believe that America should invest in trains as a way to help connect all the towns and cities. Who shall Congress support? Automotive unions? Trade unions. Um, Which one would the Mafia like more? Trains? Or automotive unions? Hmm. I want to say we're going to go with automotive unions. And if we go down with trains and another campaign with totalists, then I think it would make more sense. So let's go with automotive unions because with trains we can control where people, literally control where people go. So I think maybe a Browder or a Foster or a Burnham would probably do that one pretty darn well. So we'll wait for that one. We'll choose that one hopefully if I remember correctly. Clyde, let's let go on. Let's see. I actually might send you guys here to the front as well. Because as you can see, Germany's not doing very well. The Russians are doing a great, great job. So... Yeah, uh, you guys might want to come up there too. Maybe. Just don't die in the water. If they die in the water, that's really bad, but it is what it is, you know. Come to Portsmouth. That'd be good. Alright, they're still attacking like crazy. Bunch of crazies here. How much manpower does the National Fr national French have? I just, I've never played as a National French before. I really play as them sometime. Wow, Pitan, you're looking a little different. Not that much manpower. Cool, cotton boys, cotton boys, cotton boys. Better radar is very good. It is 42. It's almost 43. Just grab that. Thank you. And let's grab some more output because we definitely need it after I destroyed our supplies. Well, actually, we need to do more guns and artillery and anti-air. So guns, definitely more guns. Artillery. Anti-air is looking pretty good. Anti-partisan, very nice. And keep building more military factories. We're building more air bases just in case when we have to go to war with the, Canada, the Canadians. So that'll be good. 
Nice. More factories, please. More factories. War propaganda. We don't really need that. I want to build up all of here, but then we're trying to build a factory with Mexico, but demand New England. New England's place under the Canadian boot is an intolerable state of affairs, but they are obviously opposed to returning it. Drumming up support within New England. Wrapping up diplomatic pressure. And showing our strength will force them to stand down. Hopefully. Very much hopefully. Continental Marines look very nice, though. What do we have here? We're still training all of our ships. We have... Ooh, four subs. Very nice. We actually have some subbies, my friends. Subbies, subbies, subbies. Subbies and chubbies. Nice. Not too bad. I'll let you guys all train if you need to. That's fine with us. Ooh, what do we have here? Something else? Recruitment in North America? No. Super silent super vets? No. We're kind of good. Anthem of, the, of new, the New America. Congress is debating what anthem shall become the official anthem of the Syndicate of America. Several songs have been quickly becoming candidates to debate. The question is, what shall we voted on to become the official anthem of America? Solidarity forever. There's a union. There's power in a union. The same as your line. Uh, hmm. I'm going to go there's power in a union, and unions are something we can control as a mafia. Uh, organizations would be kind of nice. Cool. Are you guys really talking? Are you actually winning or no? No, you're not. Okay. Oh, you guys actually made it over here. Nice. Wow, that looks really bad. But, you know what? The, with the Russians here, they're doing a pretty good job. Pretty darn good job. Ooh, we need more manpower. Then again, we made our guys 40 combat with. And we're still mobilizing a little bit more, so it's not too bad. We have a total of 2.23 thousand people who are not part of our core territory. And I think this is a glitch in the game, actually. That the Black Legion terrorism refuses to go away. And no matter how many times we've taken it to get rid of that modifier, it's still here, which... It's not very good, obviously. Which I don't think... I don't think it should be here, but I could be wrong. Any partisans gone? Thank you. Or we done it? Very nice, very nice. Friendship with Mexico. We love Mexico. We love Mexico. The United Mexican States agree. The Mexican government has agreed to our to our offer of a treaty of friendship. Perhaps this is the beginning of a new era of cooperation between our nations. Great, we got more political power that we don't really need. Yay! I'd love to go to war economy. Uh, ooh, limited exports might not be bad. Uh, kind of okay. We're importing a lot of rubber, anyways. Eh, it's okay. A spot for money. Uh, I guess we could go extensive. It's fine. We need more manpower anyway, so. Demand to England? Hopefully they say yes. Hopefully we don't have to kill them off too harsh, but you know what? We're ready to go if they do say no. And these guys are already 40 combat with, so we're, we're pretty good to go. Obviously with these guys, they're not 40 combat with yet. Wait, who are you? Oh, it's you guys. You guys aren't 40 combat with either, but we'll see about that. Um, Red Guards? No, thank you. Continental Revolutionary Army? Revolutionary Continental Army? No, no, no. Anything else? Let time go on. Things are sort of at a standstill for now. It's kind of okay. It doesn't really matter too much. Tanks. We need to improve our tanks as well. Uh, have all of you guys train then. <clears throat> I'm going to demand New England, so that's what we got to do. Anything going on over here? Not really too much. No, they don't want to really attack. The Russians, though, <clears throat> doing a very good job. Doing a very, very good job. Oh, Novorossiya. Look at them. Afrikan is the first name, huh? Bogowski. Huh. Oh, they're puppet. Alright, then. Whatever. Actually, you know what might be helpful? <clears throat> if we send you all to... Here. Start getting intelligence on the Canadians. That would be kind of helpful, I think. <clears throat> Alright, what, what else is next? So researchers coming along. Uh, the French are still trying to attack the French. It's not going that well for either of the Frenches. Yeah. Tell me, guys. How about you relax? Revolution at home. World Revolution. Um, I'll be honest. It seems, makes more sense for maybe we do more Revolution at home just because we want to focus on, you know, the Mafia. On the beach. International collaboration. Denounce international treachery. All to the Revolution. Well, obviously, whatever we choose here... I'm not going to choose later on, so American Aid. A Duchy of Illyria, huh? American Logistics Department. Not bad. Free the New World. I kind of want to do that. Non core manpower plus 2%. War Plan Red. Be really nice. Address International. Peace League. Pacifist Education. Oh, Pacifist Education. If we could do Radical Socials or even Social Democracy, we'll probably go down that way or something. Because this one gives us that one. And Best in the Future. Peace through Socialism. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's probably not the way we want to go. Wait, change of popularity of totalism minus 10%. Change of popularity of totalism 5%. Massive West, scoop up local socialists. Gateway to South America. Break the kingdoms of Arabia. The inevitability of world socialism. 
and the German Eagle of World Without Chains. Greater New England. Oh, there goes the Rice Pass. I, mm, socialism in One Nation. I think we might go ahead and go down this way. So maybe we'll go down towards Socialism in One Nation. Oh, my apologies for that loud sound. I hate it when that game does it like that. Socialist Liberation. Yeah, we're not really about liberation, but basically more things about under new management. So, yeah, so we need to go gateway to South America. I think that'll be good. And to get to this one, Suicide Pills, very cool. I apologize for this, it's just lagging extremely hard, so there goes the German Empire. Um, so, Fall of Germany, very cool. Demand New England, Gateway to South America, scoop up local socials or masters of the West. So, either one of these two um, doesn't really matter. Because revolutionize Monroeism or on the beach. So, we need to do this one. Or on the beach. Uh, so I plan on playing with Totalist quite a few more times. I think, actually, you know what? We'll do Revolution at Home. We'll go down this. Oh, we can't go down that way. No, we can't go down that way. Hmm. Mafia influence. On the beach. I think we want to maybe help them out. I want to do Revolutionary Monroe Doctrine, though. I think we'll go down that way. You know what? We'll do Revolution at Home, then. I wasn't planning on doing this one, but... Because would the Mafia want the World Revolution? Would, you really want to, would we really want to go out there? Because we'll go down that way several different times, so... Um, yeah, I think we'll go down for this one. Revolution at home. Well, we care for all workers. We cannot have an effective nation if we do not focus on our own stability first. In this way, we'll better serve the workers at home. And by setting a positive example and being more prepared for the future abroad as well, the revolution will never be defeated. Very nice. Now we got to be sure of... Oh, wow. That is... That is a large commune, France. Hey, there you go. New England rejoins America. The Canadians have withdrawn their troops from Boston and the city of New England and have stated their occupation is over. Their decision to leave was controversial with their people, but it seems that the reason has prevailed. The last major piece of our country is under our control. We are truly united. Good. As we deserve to be. America is liberated. At long last, all of America is now part of the syndicates of America, except for Hawaii and Alaska, probably. The revolution has been achieved or has achieved its major victory, and the people have been unshackled from the chains of capitalism. Oliver waving red flag, Oliver waving the red flag of socialism from California to New York Island. While the scars of the revolution are everywhere, we can look forward to bringing the revolution to everyone. The sign is your land. Black Legion retreat. Oh, finally, good. Rebuild New England. The Black Legion has been utterly broken, with captured members selling one another out. Their funds are destroyed, and most of their militants either dead or in retreat. It appears that the Black Legion has been defeated, and the government announcement that the Black Legion is in shambles has been met with a celebration from citizens who can return to their lives with less fear in their lives. Justice at last, finally, and hopefully we can core all this stuff. Uh, do we have? We don't have cores on this, do we? That's disappointing. No, we don't. Well, we should have gotten quite a few more factories too. So, where are you guys at? So, at this point, have a solid front line. Pretty much, that's what we're going to have to do here. And it's lagging just a little bit because of probably liberations. There you go, that's going to be nice. Goodbye, Norway. Goodbye, goodbye. We're pretty much ready to go. Get rid of these guys. Improved anti air. Get some better, even better anti air. Subsidiary carrier roll. Very nice, very nice. We already have all the air doctrine done. So let's go with some destroyers because we actually have quite a few destroyers, which is actually pretty nice. Georgian Social Stick to Clay Wall in Azerbaijan. Oh boy. 1.85 political power a day. Gosh dang, that's so strong. Alright, so with those guys gone. Oh man. Oh wait. Is this still a Reich's Pact? Oh, the Dono Adria Boon. Oh, that's kind of nice. Ah, the Netherlands, the Dutch East Indies are gone. The Polish Socialist Republic has capitulated. Wait, Socialist Republic. Very good, my friends. Very good. I, I never really like how they split Germany up into four parts. It makes sense, I know, but, like, they don't have unique focus trees. Sometimes if they take each other out, at least if the German Union takes out the other German states, then, uh, I don't know. It just, I never liked it. I never really did. I prefer East and West Germany, personally, but, you know, it is what it is. Anything else here? Mm, not really. Could get so use more stability, but whatever. And the ships just take forever to make, so, oh, we need more rubber. Look at that. Brazil will take... Oh, uh, Philippines, why not? Philippines first. Come on, I just wanted to go to war with the, those guys over in Canada, man. 
There you go, you guys do that. There you go. Nice. So it's probably not going to be looking too good for the, uh, thir for the, uh, on top now. Alright. Oh, yeah, you guys are done too? Yeah, nice. Well, you're not exactly done, but, uh, I don't want to get involved down there. I want to help out down here, actually. Uh, get out of there, guys. We don't have enough guns right now. We need to mobilize some more, too. That's looking quite a bit better. Motorize ain't too bad. Support equipment ain't too bad, either. After, after Revolution at Home, what do revolutionize Monroeism? The original Monroe Doctrine is dead, gone in the fire of the Second American Civil War, however. There's still many among us who think it is natural for us to protect our nat native hemisphere from foreign encroachment. Not only that, they also say we must protect these regimes from one another. Let us reinstitute some of the old Monroe Doctrine ideas and start to promote the growth of the new regimes in Latin America. Doing so will eliminate the need for the imperialism of old, as we will instead control these countries through political leverage and economic power. The revolution shall spread across the Western Hemisphere. Great. Cryptology level goes up. Nice. Uh, extraction, we could. Let's grab some of that for ourselves. So. Yeah, we're going to focus more on extracting stuff, probably. So, oh, look at that. Nice. Very good. Alright, so do we have our guys here? Uh, I might want to wait till these guys are done first. Oh, Ireland and Ulster? Oh, that's cool. Oh, they actually might be able to win. You might just go in right now. Now, we're going to lead the charge. Oh, wait, what? Why do we force the attack? There you go. Now we got him. Grand Paru, alrighty. Well, he's pushing a little bit, right? That's pretty nice. I don't really want to go with this one, cause, but then again, we can't because we're totalists, so. Revolutionized Monroeism, very nice. I mean, if you want to help out here, you might actually be able to win. Ulster's gone. Didn't think they'd stand up very long. And we're still mobilizing. After this, we shall do I, the free world. Yeah. Leader of the new world. War plan red. I want to go to war with them as fast as possible. So, free the new world. Our place in the, is not in the old world, but in the new. Our focus shall be on achieving dominance in North and South America and standing tall as an independent syndicalist power, rather than acting as subservient partners of the Europeans. Let us work to free our brothers from the shackles of capitalism. Very nice. Red Logistics Department. Supply consumption goes down by 10%. That is super strong. Wow. That is very strong, actually. Oh, okay. The Philippines was, were a mistake. For now, let's get it from Brazil. For now. We really need to make our own oil and refineries, man. Hmm... Oh, look at that. The Union of Hanover is getting invaded by the National French. Um. Okay. I'd like to click on you guys, too. Go to Brest. Nice. Oh, they really don't want us here, huh? That's unusual. You don't want us here? What's wrong with you guys? There you go. Fill it up. That's nice. Alright, let's get some of this off. More land and attack. Anti-air. We're actually doing quite well. Anti-air is so cheap to make. It's so nice. Take breath so they have less supplies. Come on, come on, come on. Get over there. There you go. Nice. Rene. Yeah, I wonder if we can take this. I kind of doubt it. These guys are so incredibly strong. Why? We have air superiority. Hmm. Disappointing. And like I said, we do need to focus on our tanks a little bit more. But after revolutionize this, our rank is just. Of course, we're going to do free new world. But I'm going to go and do war plan red. Now our eyes must turn to the north to the British exiles in Canada. Though we have a close ties to the British in our distant past, it has not been a friendly relationship since. We Americans have a deep hatred for the British monarchy. Let us end these royal fools and their followers once and for all and bring Canada into the fold.
All right, everyone. So right now, I've already gone ahead and we've finished these two focuses. I've already finished uh, American Logistics Department as well. If we're truly to control and influence the Western Hemisphere and lands beyond, we must invest in better logistics. This is not Western Europe, where small countries make it easy to conduct wars on that scale. Our borders with our neighbors are large, and if we want to go anywhere else, we have to cross vast amounts of ocean to get there. Let us improve our naval logistical capabilities so that we can take on these challenges, which improves our naval invasion capacity. Um, supply consumption goes down, na amphibious invasion speed, it can even better. We got some more dockyards. Address the international, though. Though we've decided to focus on the revolution here at home, we must address international. The nations in this organization were the original syndicalist powers in the world, and perhaps we could learn a thing or two from them. If we can, we should reach out to them and see if relations could be established. Should we help them or distance ourselves from them? Now, <clears throat> off screen, uh, the Eurasian Union joined the Entente, but now, of all things, uh, no, they did join the Entente. Yeah, they did join the Entente, which made the Third International go to war with them. So at this point, we're probably going to go to war with the Entente as well. It is what it is. Not too bad. But at this point, we do have our goals. Let's stop training our guys here and uh, get ready to just go to war. Oh, you actually have one too many divisions, huh? There you go. Go over there. Nice. And basically, we should do pretty darn okay. We actually have a rel relatively decent okay navy. It's not great, obviously. But we got quite a few subs. That should help us out. And actually, before we go to war, we had, I was making a few more planes here as well. They were all training, in, of course, which is good and all. But some of these guys are lacking quite a bit of air power here. There you go. Uh, make sure at least every one army has at least one thing of planes. Man, we gotta really improve our air force here. My goodness, not very good. Not very good at all. Nice. There you go. Three, two, one. I don't think Canada can really stand up to us. So, yeah. They have 25 divisions max. 25,000 manpower on service by requirement. The navy is looking pretty nice. They have a pretty large navy, so we gotta be ready for them. But I don't know if we really can be, but we'll see what happens. Let's go right on in. 40 combat with infantry. Marching straight on in. Coming to France. Now we're good for now. Uh, and we have quite a few good subs, so... And now, basically, we'll be fighting the Eurasian Union to keep things moving along. We'll hop up the Third International as much as we can. Even though with the path we've taken, I think we do end up going to war with, uh... Pretty much anyone that's not the Third International. So, we might we might not be so. George H. has been wounded. That's totally fine. Spent Lee Butler, Butler's back in, in here. Doing well. And Selinda. That's fine, whatever. Oh, and finally, we can go to war economy. Nice. We bought some of that stuff as well. And honestly, like... Oh, we need more chromium, but we're looking not too bad. And I'm justifying on Cuba as well, so... Oh, what's going on over here? Oh, look at that. Convoy's nice. Central America is gone. Taken out by the Entente. Yes, they have been. Which is not good. Actually, maybe we should have joined the Third International get down there, but whatever. I don't want to go to war with the Third International. They're struggling anyways. And France is, like, on scraping the barrel with a little bit of manpower. Not very much, so... But this is the end of Canada. This is literally the end of Canada. They lost 3 million? Wow. That's a nice flag you got, Puerto Rico. Oh, we're at war with Puerto Rico. That's kind of good. Yeah, nice. Awesome. Get on down there, guys. Nice. Look, they're back. Good, 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 good. Uh, you guys are back as well, so I'll throw you over there. I'll throw you guys right there, too. Nice. Very good. Oh, they're going to war with Hungary. That's pretty normal, I guess. And after that, maybe go to these guys. Maybe we'll see what happens. There you go. Nice. Oh, we lost a Bell Creek sub. That's alright. That's okay. Um, we're doing, doing pretty darn well, I'd say. I mean, it's only Canada. Especially, it's 43. It's almost 44, so. Hey, we got him. Oh, Benjamin Kadeem's been winning. That's not good. They fled Australasia. I really don't want to invade them, but we'll see what happens. Nice. And they didn't give us back Alaska, so that's that's my justification for why we went to war with them. Hey! Oh. Okay! Um, so this is a part of our hemisphere. Obviously, we gotta take them up, right? That's right. Now things are looking right. Oh, look at all this! Oh, that's so nice. We definitely need some chromium, so let's do that. And we got all the political power. Might as well do that. Uh, create South American section. No, we're kind of okay. Rebuild Alaska. Nice. Wow, task force, good. Last couple more subs, that's okay. Uh, a few more dockyards, not bad. Let's grab. It is almost 44. Just keep, keep making more subs. I love subs. I've, I've really become a huge sub guy right now. We do need to get down to Central America. Um, they joined the Andean Pact, which is going to be kind of a pain in the butt to take out. Uh, let's see, the Entente is... Are, are they dead? The Entente's still alive. Xinjiang is part of the Entente. Huh. French state, of course. 
Raj. Oh, now they're blue led by these guys. Okay, that makes sense. Third International. Oh, we need to get over there. Anywhere here in the hemispheres? No, not really. So, okay. Of course, we do still want to go to war with Cuba. So, we'll see what happens with them. If you guys could come down to here and invade Havana, that'd be great. In the meantime, build us up here so we can get some more, uh, you know, stuff up here. That's up. Oh, see? We can go to war now. That's good. Very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. Ship-wise, we still have a few more subbies. Good, good, good. And you guys are protecting our uh, Western Coast. There you go. Do what you must. And you guys come down here too. Nice. Alright, are the tanks ready to go? Oh. Fate of the West Indies Federation. After a long campaign, we have a good portion of the Caribbean region is now under our control. We must decide what to do with it. From the government, direct rule from Chicago. Canada? Finally, the corrupt dominion of Canada as home of the British exiles has capitulated to our glorious armies. Reports say the king and his close circle fled the country, but that doesn't matter. We now have control over these large portions of land. What should we do with them? Liberate little Canada. Liberate them. Ma manifest destiny doesn't concern Frenchmen. Liberate Quebec and annex Canada. Uh, no, we, we kind of went with Monroe, so... We're the masters here of this stuff, so... Oh, I don't want to deal with that. French state... Well, they'll probably get taken out by these guys eventually. Hopefully. Oh, maybe not. Hmm. That's not good. Hmm. Do you have... There you go. Head on down, guys. Ooh, yeah. Because you guys don't need to do that anymore. So, let's do that. Oh, actually, you guys can just show up here. Oh, that makes it so much easier. So much easier. Just don't die over there. That's my main concern. Uh, since we own that, you might as well do that, too. There's some air bases around there, as well. When you go to war by when? The 6th. Okay. That's not bad. It was at February 6th, too, right? Not January 6th. Yeah, February 6th. Bit of Jamaica, Guyana, Trinidad. Nah, we're just going to take them up. Military occupation. Pressure stability is war support. Whatever. It's fine. Address it international. Well, if we can send you guns and stuff, that'd be great, but power of the Red Navy. Our Red Navy isn't much yet, but with some investment, it could become something to be feared. So let us invest in our inner navy, and we will dominate the seas. We will never be invaded by a country from a distant land across the sea. Perhaps one day, we will conduct an invasion of our own. Nice. Address international. Due to a recent stated policy of focusing on local foreign policy, the international has been expecting us to still address and support them in some way. While some pacifists love to dislike the international's propensity for war, few doubt that they are still our greatest ally in these times. Shall we support them in a sign an aggression pact or avoid foreign entanglements completely? Send funds? Send military aid? Disavow them? Send military aid. They are still fighting the Entente like us, so that's so good to do. We need to do a lot of stuff here, but it is 44. Let's grab some more better planes. More better? Better planes, better planes, better planes. All right, guys, down here. That's good. Well, some of you guys are. Not everyone, though. Uh, what are you guys doing? Come on. Let's go. Right, Tizo should be ready to go as well. Let's grab some more rubber. That would be nice. We need a lot more chromium. Oh, wow. Central America for now. Thank you. Help us out in whatever way you possibly can. That's very good. That's why I went to war with Cuba. Or you want to go to war with Cuba because they have a lot of chromium. We just want them for their natural resources. That's all. Fate of Dutch Guiana? Nope. Because... Oh, we own this. It makes it so much easier to get over here. So we have to have to navally invade. That's really nice, actually. Are we ready to go yet? Oh, this is not good. It's a lot of divisions. we got to make sure we have air superiority here, too, so... Alright, what do we have down here? Cass is nice. We need quite a few fighters for this as well. Fighter groups, we're going to need definitely more fighters than this. <clears throat> Get some logistics as well. Let's see. 40 combat widths. Even though we got better supply consumption, just do that anyway since we'll be fighting down in the South American nations. Take that as well. That's good. Oh, we still have some light tanks here, huh? Uh, medium tanks are actually looking pretty good. Let's switch them out. Nice. Very nice. Cool. And what else? Resistance. Just in case. 
Uh, we're using this for garrisons. Actually, we oh, want to take this off then. Uh, we'll, 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 do, we'll deal with that in a little bit. You guys are good. These guys, go and get some of that as well. You know what? Instead of that, get some armor. It's not much, but we'll, we'll use it anyways. So, there you go. If they say we have too many divisions, I don't mind cutting down maybe a little bit. That's fine with me. Maximum supported divisions? Oh, we lose organization because of that. Uh, we need to get rid of 21. Uh, Sorry, Katine. You did a great job, though. There you go. Oh, we need four more gone. Okay. There you go. Now that should be perfect. 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 Guys, where are you? Why, why are you not showing up? It's because you're over there. That's why. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, 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 go. Do we have any more planes as well? If we've got enough air superiority, we should be fine. How's the third international looking? Not bad. Not great. I don't know how much more manpower these guys really have, because that's so much resistance down there. They have 77,000. Oh, they have still a lot of manpower left, though. Huh. Let's go in if we can. You guys cannot lose here. Of course, from China, the national government of China has come to us with an offer of cooperation building up their industry. We sh they suggest we should share innovations between each other for mutual aid. While we may not gain many new technologies from China, we can't at least help them modernize. Um, China. The national government of China. Is it these guys? Oh, this is, oh, these guys. Oh, sure, why not? I need you guys to be able to force the attack. I need you to land right now. Nice. I help out our subs too, because they're doing really well. Oh, crap. Don't lose. Oh, you already lost some guys. Oh, crap. That's not good. Hold, 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 hold. Stop attacking. Sending these guys down here was probably a big old mistake by us. Well, we lost them. God dang it. It's all right, though. Happens. My bad. Well, I know what we're going to do with Cuba once we're done here. Well, we lost them all. God dang it. My apologies. Ah! Well, Cuba's going to have to die. I'm going to string them all up on a rope. They just killed that many guys off. I mean, that's unacceptable. That's absolutely unacceptable. Well, Cuba's about to be depopulated. I guess it's a living drown for America down here. Anyways, let's come down down here. 40 combos, sending them down here is a bad, bad idea, but we're going to do it anyways. Uh, give me all of you guys, actually. National. Can we actually join your faction? That would be kind of cool if we could. Um, Where is it? It's not here. You can't join them. An attache. We need more command power. No, we can't. That really sucks. Um, I think it, what we got to do to jump over here, the Cairo Pact, we might go to war with the King of Spain, maybe Portugal. Are you guys in the Reichs Pact? You no, know, you're by yourself. Go to Iceland, maybe? Go to Denmark? Hmm. We'll find a way to jump over. That's, that's going to be incredibly important to do. All right, Fate of Cuba. Nope. You're all going to die there after you, what you did to our tank divisions. You're all going to die. I guess in the meantime, we could just go to war with these guys as well. Puerto Rico. Okay, Puerto Rico, you, you're going to die here. We, we have a claim on you guys, but we don't get any faster justifications. I don't understand that, man. Anyways, Power of the Red Navy. The Caribbean Revolution. All owned states are currently also controlled by... Huh. Oh, wait, what? The Caribbean Revolution... Uh, wait, so this is not auto-bypass? The history of the Caribbean is filled with European and American exploitation. Most who live in this region unfortunately still suffer under horrible conditions and we should do something about it. Let us work to bring the revolution to the Caribbean and make sure that at last the Caribbean people can break their chains. I mean, yeah, these guys are gone. Those guys are not. All owned states are currently also controlled. Well, that should be all automatically done, but lead the American Revolution. Many of your brothers and sisters in Latin America cry for help. We should take a leadership position in our hemisphere and lead the American Revolution. We shall make sure that all the reactionaries to the South are extinguished for good. 
We should probably do that. Americanist Red Navy, huh? Naval AA attack. Not bad. Less supply consumption as well, which is pretty nice. Um, I guess we have to go to war with these guys too, so... Maybe we should make some Marines. Yeah, it's going to take a long time to do that. That's fine, whatever. Uh, what's going on right here? Ah, the fleet here. Alright, so we got to take out you guys too, huh? So be it. Get some of that. Let's get that going, and get that going as well. Get some naval bombers. That'd be good. God dang, we need more fighters. Oh, look. We got a stack right here. Nice. Um, There's not a lot we can send with you guys. Uh, You guys. There you go. Actually, go right there since you're they're already doing stuff. You guys send half of you guys, or one, two, to there. Send one right there, and send the other one right here. And then you go here and go there. Nice. See, oh, we actually sunk a bat battleship using our subs. That almost never happens. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. Cool. We're propaganda because we can. And we're going to leave the American Revolution. I might just auto-bypass this because that, that's stupid that this is a glitch where you can't do this. All own states are currently controlled. Obviously it's not, but uh, let's see. Magnetic detonator, we very good. Get some better subs, that'd be nice. And then we're going to scoop up local socialists. We shouldn't start from scratch in our efforts to bring the revolution to the rest of the Western Hemisphere instead. We should reach out to potential allies who could give us crucial resources and one day perhaps even military assistance. Alone, our goals would be difficult, but with local allies, success can be achieved. Which would be nice. Um, uh, so I think we read this one, so... That'd be good. I'm just going to auto-bypass that off-screen, but matters, matters, master of the West. We've achieved our goal. America stands tall on its own, masters of the new world, and free from the chains of capitalist domination. Regardless of what happens in Europe and elsewhere, we will know that the West, at least, has fought for its freedom and has been granted victory. Uh, followed up with, let's see, all owned states are currently controlled. Well, we're going to do this one anyway, so. If we want a foothold in South America... <clears throat> We should start at the very northern end of the continent. Colombia, Venezuela, and Ecuador are all ripe for the taking. We, we better serve under our protective wing anyway, bring them into the fold. Look to the south. With dominance achieved over Canada and Mexico, our eyes can be at least cast southwards towards the rest of South North and South America. Those countries we, who have not become part of the revolution should be dealt with at once. We will use any means necessary to achieve this goal. And none will stand in the way of progress, as well as African revolution. Cool. For far too long. Africans have suffered under the boot of European imperialists. Prominent black activists in a country have pointed out that liberating these regions would have sent a message that even the poorest workers in the world will not be left behind. This would be a certain moral victory for us, and it would be greatly weaken the European powers that currently lay claim to it, as well as break the kingdoms of Arabia, because we can. Arabia suffers under the rule of backwards despots who enforce their will upon their people. There are many who see them as one of the world's most vicious regime regimes. There's also the fact that there are reports of untapped oil reserves in the region. Perhaps their investments is just what they need to tap into this potential and gain a more pr prosperous future for themselves and us. Alright everyone, so here we are, September 5th, 1944, and as you can see, I've gone to war with Venezuela, well, because we can, and we've got some of the focuses done. Even though I had to use Khan's commands to get, just break through the Caribbean Revolution, which kind of sucks. As well as Gateway to South America, which didn't make any sense. But, regardless, we're here we are. Now, we can do socialism in one country, or one nation, or socialist liberation. Uh, this one seems like it gives you more total support. That seems probably more, you know, more like it. Back the Chilean Revolution, break Bolivian stuff, finish the South American Reaction... Um, dealing with Quebec, we well, technically they're already gone. So, Sweet Columbia, Socialist Appeals, Socialist Empire, Technocratic Empire. That'd be kind of cool. Mm, we get Corn and Lower Sonora, the road to Alaska. You know, I'll leave this for you guys to decide. Should we do socialism in one country or one nation as versus socialist liberation? Let me know in the comments below. I'm kind of pulling towards socialism in one nation, but we still got this stuff to do and a couple of actual, actually Al Capone focuses too. So, we definitely need more divisions down here though. Not great. Oh, look at that. Oh, we lost some subs, because I don't have any Navy down here. That sucks. Let's go when you guys can. Port of Spain, that'd be really good. Uh, obviously, Colombia and Venezuela are not doing that great, but whatever. Oh, look at these guys. Cut off. Nice. Masters of the West and African Revolution. Very nice. Hey, good job, guys. Good job. Kill them off. There you go. And you've done a great job. Nice. And they're done. Don't want to forget about you. Tizo. Thank you. Keep going as you keep doing what you're doing. Not, a sh not else what I should say about that, but keep doing what you're doing. Oh, we got something done here. Oh, how's this looking? We still need to finish this. We are a spy master, of course. 
which is pretty darn nice. We're doing pr pretty okay. How many divisions do they have? Obviously, we're not using that many of our own divisions, but it's an Andean pack for fighting. Better rubber. Nice. We got some more extraction, maybe. We took out Cuba. We took out Puerto Rico. Um, I just pretty much annexed everybody here, so. We're at peace. Declares war in Brazil. Oh. Well, we can't go to peace now. We're with the Entente, which they're doing okay-ish. You know, the Entente's not doing great, but... All right. Oh, the Polish Socialist Republic is here. Oh. Oh, Luxembourg is there. Rose Luxembourg. Oh, go figure. Getting more refiners and stuff, which is nice. Uh, you guys keep doing what you're doing. Looking not too bad. Not too great, but not too bad. Actually, do we need both Colombia and Venezuela to capitulate them? Yeah, oh no, we need Colombia, not Venezuela, huh? Well, alright, whatever. That's okay. These guys are doing well anyways. We have some guys down here too, but that's alright. And we did make three more tank divisions, but I don't want to send them down, especially if supplies would be really bad here, so yeah. Oh, look, oil. Ah, we came down here for that oil. Love it. Uh, give them some supplies down there too. We probably really use a lot more supplies through here. And more oil. Cool. Alright, not bad. Puerto Rico should be a core very soon. There we go. There we go. Spaniola is gone. We killed off, at least in my mind, thousands of Cubans because of how they treated our tanks earlier. Uh, cool. I've just been researching a lot of stuff off screen too, so not really much has been going on. Well, okay. Huh? I don't really feel like taking those guys out. Hey, Venezuela is gone though. Nice. Very nice. Keep going, guys. Yeah, actually, I forgot we own the Panama Canal, so, yeah. All of you guys just keep on going on in. More factories. Not sure what else to put you guys on, but, uh, motorized, maybe? Naval bombers? Yeah, that could probably be pretty good. Carry naval bombers? Nice. Do that one immediately. And technology doesn't really matter too much right now, so, uh, let's we'll keep doing well with this stuff. Let's make sure we get some more naval invasion stuff, so. Landing craft would be good, because we're definitely going to need some more landing craft. Oh, we got cut off. No, we didn't. Nice. And then we have to go up there too. Costa Rica. Who are you allied with? Anybody? Can we just find you guys? Yeah, we could. I think I might want to go to war with Brazil, actually. I'll probably join the Entente or something, which is fine. Since we have to be at peace to do this anyways, which I don't understand why we have to be at peace for that, but whatever. You guys are doing well, well, well. 40 combo bits are nice, especially with less supply consumption. It's so much nicer. So much nicer with so much less supply consumption. It's not even funny, man. It's it's so good. So good. So tasty. Get some air bases too. And you know what? Here, have some roads. And dockyards. African Revolution, breaking the kingdoms of Arabia. Might as well. Because I do want to do some of the ones for the Al Capone side, because I completely we didn't do that many of them last in the last video, so what are we gonna do? Bogata will be nice to have. Nice. Medellin. Medellin. How do we pronounce it? Please go right on in if you can. And we're actually using my onions here too, which is pretty good. Supply is not that bad. Love it. How much more do we need to capitulate them? Hopefully not that much more. We took the capital. Um, Cali? Cali? Okay, well, that might just be it. That's all we need, maybe. Keep going in there. Once they're gone, then you could probably just kill them all off that way. Cass, good. Nice, kill them all off. Especially with their subs doing stuff here. And some few naval bombers, too. I did not forget the naval bombers this time. I right, lost 17,000. Oh, five and a half million. Wow. Also, off screen, I did, like, balance out the uh, Third International with the Entente a little bit. Just to help improve performance, you know, speed things up a little bit, but make sure that they are still killing each other, so. I had to delete a few divisions on both sides to speed things up. You know, I'm, I'm tempted to delete some of our own divisions as well. Alright, so those guys are gone. That's nice. And we can still go to war with... who? South Africa and Ecuador. Yep, alright. So I know you guys over here, that's fine. There we go. Um, setting tanks down here is a really bad idea. We'll do it anyways, because we can. South Africa. How the heck do we get down to South Africa? Um, they're not in any alliance either, so... Yeah, I don't know. We need Brazil before we do anything else. So we can jump over there. Oh, the German, German Union is coming back. 
How's France doing? Not great. Scraping the barrel. Ah, oh, some manpower still. Russia. Uh, sh running out of manpower. They're only on limited conscription, though. Alright, so this stuff. Yeah, it says we could puppet them, but. Uh, no. Just no. Hurts our stability, but whatever. Liberate them. Well, we can't be at peace. Less than 50% stability. We definitely gotta do that one, so. Well, actually, Eric isn't in a faction. Akadur is not, huh? Alright, I guess we'll go right on in, I suppose. Tizo is doing relative. Tiza, Tiza, Tiza. Is doing relatively okay ish around here. Some air bases, get some good stuff like that. Get some more roads because we definitely need them. And some naval bases. Anything else? Sound super events. Oh, Russo Japanese were nice. Good, that's actually really good. Help balance out against Russia a little bit, maybe, hopefully. Oh, this guy's gonna become a mountaineer eventually. Good, good, good. Beat these guys up. And then Brazil will be next, probably. And we got like two months left before we go to war with them, which is fine. Oh, the roads are so bad down here. Is that it? I don't think that's it, though, for us. Keep building, 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 building. Sure, China. Sure. Okay, so we did that one. I'm going for you guys to give you an idea which one we should do for this one. Even though I'm feeling like we're doing socialism in one country, but we'll wait. And the dust settles. Ah, uh, sure. As the revolution comes to a close and victory seems to be in sight, we must now take stock and evaluate the state of the army comprehensively. Already proposals are flurrying about this project or that to enhance our military might. It's only a 35 day focus, which is actually really, really nice. Finally, another quick focus. Supplies are really not that bad. Hey, Ecuador. I know it said puppet, but whatever. Whatever. And South Africa, Egypt, and the Ottoman Empire. What the heck? Why do we have a time limit on that? I don't like that. That we have a time limit. All right, so it looks like Brazil is pretty much next. We do. We will need to put some guys down here as well. It's gonna kind of suck. We definitely need more tanks down here as well. So I'm gonna actually have Thomas Page come down as well over here. Well, more like that. There you go. And intelligence, so we can see what the Brazilians are up to. There's nothing around there, which kind of sucks. Uh, come on down there, then. That's fine. You guys come down here as well. That's nice. That's not too bad. Excavation 5. Let's go with Excavation 4. Happy 1945, everyone. Halfway through that. Good. Hope that the commune is done. Which, I don't know why I was doing that one, but whatever. The Russians are definitely pushing. Definitely, definitely, definitely pushing. Oh, they're definitely pushing into them too, so that's not too bad. Cool. Are they going to unify over here sometime, hopefully? And what's going on over here? Who is this? The homie's free. Which wouldn't be bad for us to take over. Toll roads, huh? And, oh god, how long is it going to take for us to go to war with these guys? 180 days. My goodness. That's so long. After the dust settles... I do want that extra research slot. Military research would be nice. The GI Bill. Yeah, I definitely want to get that one next. Military research. While we have some of the finest universities and thinkers in the world, we cannot research everything at once. We need to pick a direction for our military research to focus in. Or focus on. Check. He has gone. Nice electric torpedo. Very good, very good. Uh, heavy hole, I guess? It doesn't really matter to me too much. Nice. Cool. In the meantime, we'll read through all these GI Bill. Massive numbers of demobilized servicemen will be a major issue in the aftermath of the Civil War. We should create education and jobs training programs to better reintegrate them into civilian life. New weapon designs. While the M1 Garand managed to see us through the Civil War, its flaws were as noticeable when it was adopted as they are now. However, with the criticism we have gathered during the Civil War, we have contacted the original designer and he's assured us that by redesigning the barrel, gas cylinder, and front sight assembly, we will make the Garand an even more reliable and deadly weapon. Uh, let's see, rebuild the military industrial complex. With most of the military industrial complex in the East, the Civil War has devastated the old munitions and weapons factories that made up America's pre war industry as they became high value targets for bombings and a preferred hiding spot of the persistent enemy defenders. If we wish to be ready for the next war, investing into rebuilding the military industrial complex is one of our priorities. Columbia needs you. The figure of Columbia, a woman wearing an American flag gown and a Phrygian hat, is a perfect. 
personification of the ideals of freedom and pursuit of liberty we fought so hard to achieve. With the tyrant overthrown and the radicals put down, the service of the American people to Colombia is not yet over. War looms in the horizon, and only the brave men of America can protect her and her nation from tyranny. Oh, and we have this one too. That's very nice. Just go and grab, grab the next one as well. That's fine. And war bonds. We need adequate funding to properly fight this war. Bonds are a popular way of fundraising, fundraising, and we can easily promote them through the cartoons, films, and other popular mediums. Very nice. So let's get to the next one. We'll have an event. We'll read that event, and then we'll go to war with Brazil, probably. Probably. And then go to war with the uh, Grand Peru. Helps reduce lag and helps establish dominion over all of the, the Americas, which is something we really, really want. Do we have any extra spirit? 46. Holy crap. That is a lot. Slovak Social Republic is gone. Oh, we can go to war with Brazil now. Nice. Uh, you guys, you guys, you guys, not bad. But I want another flea here. Nice. You guys are going to get really hit hard, but that's fine. They're going to attack us, which is totally fine with me. Totally, 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 totally fine. We have our soldiers down here as well, which is totally okay as well. Sent down like, I don't know, five divisions down here maybe? It's, it's pretty bad down here, so. Is there any other hole here that could escape through? Hopefully not. We've got some planes as well. These guys have no air force, but we can fix that very soon. There you go. We'll have plenty of planes that work over there, and get some fighters as well. Even though we're destroying hopefully a lot of the convoys, our we have a lot of subs. Holy crap! Oh, we've got a ton of subs. And we're making just more, 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 more. Right, there you go. There you go. Now you have a somewhat adequate. Air base or no. air fleet. Good. Military research. GI Bill, thank you very much. Military research. We're having our best scientists and business leaders look into what we should invest our efforts into. Guns, tanks, artillery, or improving our own doctrines. What should we choose? Doctrines would be waste, tanks. Uh, well, let's go with weapons just because that seems pretty usable for us. Uh, I really don't mind using, getting more weapons as we have not done a lot of research on weaponry. Tanks is just like the last one we can do is modern tanks. So, oh no, I forgot about this one. And I'll do that one next one up. Alright, so then we got some even better cast. I love it, love it, love it. Ah, uh, more tanks, good. Good, good, good. I'm gonna make one more cell, so it's fine. Can you keep going down, maybe? That'd be kinda nice. Maybe, maybe not. Anyways, hold on down there. Actually, how long will it take us to go to war with these guys? Probably 115 days. God, why is it so long, man? You guys are doing great. We've already killed 51,000 of them. Not bad. These guys probably won't disturb us, so... We do probably need to take out Central America. But they're part of the Third International, so they should do okay. These guys should do okay. Costa Rica is probably the last one here we really need to take out before we you know, get killed by anyone else. Collapse of the Portuguese Empire. Good. Uh, go and grab some better destroyers, perhaps. We definitely need more naval XP, too. Oh, baby boy. Uh, grab at least better armor. Oh, no, we can't... Oh, let's grab this one then. And grab some better radar. That's it. That's all we can afford, huh? Well, alright. Yep, you're done here. Nice. Very good. Come on, dude. Let's get down there. I know the roads suck, but still. Oh, they're still attacking us, which is actually kind of nice. Drain themselves of uh, strength. And actually, if we get out of here, we can actually use more manpower. Or supplies, actually. How strong is Brazil down here? 130,000 manpower. Up to 67 divisions. Not bad. Not bad. The GI Bill is very good to have. You guys go right there. And then U10 go right there. There you go. Nice. So there goes to C. You can probably get rid of that. Um, uh, we might just be able to get rid of that, too, actually. There you go. You do that and take that out. There you go. Nice. A sixth research shop. Finally. Finally, 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 finally. Uh, since we're here together, let's go and do some more of this Al Capone stuff. Because I haven't done very much of it at all, have we? The Great Purge. Uh, blind out of the church. Why not? Even though Capone may be running a state that is officially secular. Capone still remembers his upbringing. The church has a special place in his heart. And he can't hurt or destroy it even if he's running a supposedly atheist state. But to keep the facade running, he can't allow the church to play a major role. So Capone has chosen to simply turn a blind eye to the church. Neither banning it nor empowering it. It just merely exists. For now. We'll keep doing that because we can. Nice. Keep sinking all their stuff. That's good. Good, good, good. Sink the convoys. This is how we're going to kill most of their divisions off anyway, so. 
These are almost down the come on Thomas page. You're not very experienced, but that's okay. Ooh, supplies are really bad down here too. But that's why we need this area here too, so. Oh, what happened? Good, good, good. I'm gonna keep making this this task force as huge as possible. Just so that uh well it, it would have never get sunk, hopefully. So or this we want to really think about it too much. Oh my goodness. We're finding a lot of stuff here. Lots and lots of stuff, which is very nice. Is there any upgrades, Rickover? No, we've kind of already upgraded him max, which is... He's doing a good job. 40... Wow. That's a lot. Hey, we got down here. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Now we can actually put some supplies in here? No. Oh, gosh darn it. All right, so you guys might be able to do something, maybe. Okay, maybe not. I was mistaken. Yeah, this is not good. Can you guys actually do anything down here, maybe? Excavation. Even more rubber. 16. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, Brazil sucks. Brazil. Why do you have to be like this, Brazil? Hmm. Big sadness hours. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna have to nearly invade. Sure, Korea, why not? Alright, you guys come over here. Come down here. There you go. What the game? What the heck? Alright. Georgetown next. Let's keep going down. I didn't want to go to war with Brazil until later, just because I like to hit him on a two-front war, or two fronts, uh, two sides, but whatever. It just takes so long to get to justify on people, which is ridiculous. Especially at this point of the game, like, man, why can't we just take them out? Uranium? We need to do some of that research, too. Nice. We got enough civvies for this. Enough military factories, too. Look at that. Oh, God, we need so much more rubber. If that's the case, emphasize this for now. Nice. Lots and lots of rubber. We need more extraction. Are they attacking us? Good. Let them attack us. We've lost 21,000. We've killed off 100,000 of them. Not bad. Not bad. 113,000. Not bad. Oh, now we have supply issues. God dang it. Okay, get out of there then. Modern light ship hulls. Grab some of that too. We have no more naval XP, which sucks, but whatever. Come on, let's just let's go through here. Oh my gosh, it takes so long to get through there. But the proletariat of Chicago. In his in the heat of the Second American Civil War, Capone came. He ordered his henchmen not to take advantage of the poor people of Chicago. Instead, he dispatched his crew to fix roads and open the soup kitchens. We should call back to this as the people of America are still hungry as well, doing this as great PR. And we'll make Americans grateful for Capone's help. It's going to hurt a little bit, but that's alright. That is A-OK -okay for now. You guys good to go? You ready? Yes, you're pretty much ready to go. Let's see if we can do it. Let's go. Are they attacking us at all? No? Alright. Oh, yes, kind of, kind of, kind of. And if that's the case, I'm actually going to send you guys right here just to get ready to leap if we have to, so. No. There we go. Modern cruiser holes, very good. Okay, we're going, we're going. Let's land, land, land. Nice. Good. Now we can actually improve the infrastructure here, too. We need you guys to expand immediately. Come on, guys. Land, 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 if you can. Oh, do you have an upgrade, George? No, not really. Not too much. I don't really care about it. Nope. Portazella. And. Nice. Go, go, go. Actually, I don't mind sending you guys down to this one, because you guys will link up. This would be nice. Take them, take them. Nice. Good job, guys. Now they'll have to spread their divisions out much more. Everyone goes ahead. Everyone goes ahead. Go, 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 go. 
Oh yeah, they don't they definitely don't like us here. That's all right. Oh, you guys need to keep spinning up too. Oh, they're they're definitely going. They're definitely trying to leave. Some more attack. That'd be nice. Go tank boys, go go go. Link up, link up, please. Come on. Yeah, we got him. Nice. There we go. All right, Cannon, he's coming along. That's good, good, good. Anything else? Not really too much, no. Just don't get in circle, guys. That's that's probably the most important thing. Just don't get in circle. Not bad, not bad. Take them out. Take out the tiles. So don't have to worry about them. Where are you guys headed? Um, alright, well. Just don't get in circle, please. We've killed off 200,000 of them. How much more manpower do they have? 5,000. Oh, that's not bad. That's pretty good. Nice. Bless these guys will probably get well, hopefully a lot more army XP. There's no guarantee though. There you go. That's not bad. More max speed, please. There you go. Armor. That hurts your speed a little bit. Uh, good. All positive. Nice. We'll use them for a while. Hopefully get more army XP, like I said. But we'll see. Anything else here? Uh, carriers, whatever. Keep going, 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 going. And our soldiers have made it down here. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. Finally, finally, finally. Let's go in, boys. These guys need to be taught a lesson. Good. We actually maxed out infrastructure there. That's actually really cool. Alright, help out down here. Get some air bases down here, too. Get some naval bases. Nice. Those robo fields, we gonna need them, son. Tease is back at it. He's learning a lot. Proletariat of Chicago, sway the unions. The unions have been wary at best of Chairman Capone. For fortunately, they pose a little threat. Comrade Jimmy Hoffa has brought the unions into line, swaying them with bonuses and prizes. Even if this is slightly corrupt, it's all for the greater good. And that's what matters. All for the greater good. Oh, man, it's, man that's actually pretty good, too. Not bad. Pretty nice. Even though... We're I don't know. Naval XP always seems to be the one thing that's lacking in uh, whenever I use the Navy. Like, when you go to do naval battles, it seems like we just never get enough Naval XP. It's just so much faster just to train new ships. Or just train ships, period. Greek operative captured? You're looking a little George Bush-like. Or Dizian operative captured? Oh, boy. But seriously, like, why do we not get any more Naval XP? Because he's barely do anything for us, so I, I don't... I never like that. We're still lacking a lot of rubber. Not good, man. Not good. Supplies looking really bad, though. You still might be able to do okay, though. Hit your strength instead of anything else. You might still do okay. Keep going. Keep going. Supplies are so bad. Even though the supplies hopefully one day won't be too bad since uh, they're getting a rework. Supply completely is in the game, so... Do we actually break through? Sort of, yes. Sort of. Sort of. Come on, boys. Keep going. You're learning a little bit more, George. That's good. Good, good. How many have we lost? 89,000. That's quite a bit. We cut off 94,000 of them, though, which is not too bad either. How much man does Argentina actually have? I'm sure they have qu quite a bit. Oh, yeah, they do have quite a bit. going, keep going. How many divisions does Brazil have left? 9,000 manpower, that's really good, even though they raised the conscription level. Uh, 62 divisions max. Floating airfields, really nice. Keep doing this, because we're going to fight a lot of enemy ships here. How much manpower does... does I don't think Brazil has... Brazil, Peru has... Yeah, they're out of manpower. 18 divisions max. Chile has 1 to 2,000 manpower. Uh, grab some of that, because that would be good. South America is just a giant mess. But that's what South America is. Especially in Hoi 4. Like, oh my goodness. Fighting in South America is not a great idea, but it, yeah, it is what it is. Are you guys... 
Oh, okay. But this looks very confusing. Break across, you can get some supplies over there too. Oh, boy, good boy. Nice. Any more subs? Probably. Novorossian operative captured? All right. Well, you don't need that one. I don't think you found any ships over here, which is really disappointing, but whatever. Nice. Come on. Take him out. I know this is a very costly war, but it has to be what it has to be. Uh, go make some of those, that's fine. Modern cruiser holes, very good. Why not? I'm not even going to upgrade them because we have no naval XP anyway, so it kind of sucks. Hopefully still doing relatively okay. Cult of the Mafia, look at that. Even though old Comrade Capone has made attempts to distance himself from his old Mafia connections, the people have been venerating him and his criminal allies for their actions during the Second Revolutionary War. Even though they were criminals, the people have come to believe that breaking old reactionary laws does not count you as a criminal, and that the laws that were broken were broken in the name of the Revolution. As the celebration of the Mafia grows, people start celebrating the actions of committed in the war by Capone's allies and the Sicilian Mafia and actions of other gangs such as Dillinger's or Bonnie's and Clyde's. Memorials for bootleggers, plaques commemorating mobsters, and speeches and dedications to ringleaders killed in the war have all become commonplace in America. And through all this, a symbol of a gangster adorn in a fedora and three-piece suit has become a propaganda piece for the revolution. The stereotypical mobs are becoming a symbol for the new American way of life, and, and through all this, the phrase, La Cosa Nostra, or A Thing, has become a phrase used by revolutionaries all throughout America and beyond. In occupied territories, La Cosa Nostra is painted on the head in the HQ of the occupiers, while La Cosa Nostra is shouted by thousands wherever Capone or his allies hold a rally. And as a mafia cult is extended, the gang culture is ingrained in American life, and the once common criminals become war heroes and revolutionary symbols. What's right and wrong cannot be defined by petty reactionary law. Followed up next with a Capone's cult of personality. Long live our chairman. He's gone from a criminal crime boss to America's true savior. His supplies won us war. His actions kept America from starving. We all owe all to the boss. Capone's cultivated delicate cult of personality both before he took power and now. Through careful good deeds such as providing jobs for the jobs and opening soup kitchens for the hungry, he has cultivated his image as a great man of the people and a social savior of America. Almost all Americans have been caught in Capone's ploy through fear, ignorance, or genuine endowment to Capone. Phasing out the commissar uniform, some of the government are suggesting that the political commissars adopt a more proletariat uniform, one that is distanced less from the methods and culture of the past. A standard garb with a black three-piece suit, overcoat, and wide brim fedora seems to reflect less of a proletarian state, and more of a mafioso state run by the common criminals. Due to Capone's connections, it would be best to distance himself from the organized crime, however. The commissars always wish to embrace tradition, and since the actions of the mafia during the war helped save America, many view their actions as actions taken to help the syndicate government and not crime. As in their minds, criminal actions taken under the old federal government did not count as crimes, they were resisting a reactionary state through any means necessary. Either way, they still get to keep their signature Tommy guns. Keep it what Carmen does have in your uniform? Nah, keep it, keep it, keep it. It's nice stuff. And we're currently doing open soup kitchens. America has been devastated by the Second American Civil War. Seeing this, Chairman Capone has, been dis has dispatched his allies to open up soup kitchens across the nation. And right now, I want to maybe try to concentrate our guys a little bit more, a little better, just so that we can, uh, you know, fight our enemies a little bit better, so... Uh, I don't remember telling you guys to attack, but, you know, if you're going to do well, hopefully you can do well, so. Cool. Not bad. Concentrating you guys. You guys actually are... Okay, Brazil's gone. Also, off-screen France, the Commune of France, did capitulate, so. Did want to keep you guys aware of what's going on over there. But this is not too bad, either. Alright, so you guys come up here. Y'all do with them. I would like to get rid of these guys before the end of the episode. The South American guys, so. Oh, we're not at war with... Nope. Either on screen or off screen, I'll take these guys out. They don't need to be alive for this. Alright, so you guys did a great job. Oh, relatively okay job. And you guys do that. There you go. Make sure you get some supplies through here, because it's going to be a really bad fighting through here. Get some radar, too, if we need it. There we go. Keep moving, guys. Keep moving, 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 and grooving. Because now, these guys have a much bigger area to defend instead of just over here. We've lost a lot of guys, though. We've lost a lot of guys. Ugh, not very good. We killed 200,000 of them, though. Uh, and apparently the Third International is dying right now, so, yeah. Not very good for the Third International. They still have, you know, the Union of Britain stuff, but still. Oh, well, I guess they have Portugal back. Take it back. That's uh, kind of nice. But the Japanese are still t going at the Entente, which is nice. We lost one potential ally to kill, kill off enemies. 
we've been replaced by another. Hopefully we can do well here. Yep, definitely. They had to guard the other borders, so they're going to collapse right there, which is nice. You guys keep doing what you're doing. How much How much more strength does Argentina have? A little bit. Grand Peru has a little bit. Not much. Four to six divisions. Actually, how many divisions are these? Up to 70. Paraguay has... they yeah, doing okay. And 2,000 in Chile, which is not very good. Oh, good. Hydera about going to war. Oh, Huey Long's not leading them. That sucks. Whatever. French operative capture. Nice. We're doing a lot of good stuff here. And open soup kitchens is very good as well. Very good. Lima is gone. Hopefully they capitulate soon-ish. Lima, 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 Lima. Tibet has been called in as our enemy. Okay, well, whatever. Gotta get some more supplies, too. But then it's very nice. Rubber is doing A-OK. -okay. We finally have enough rubber. Finally, 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 finally. Air is not great right now, but hopefully we can make it a little better, especially as we're making more air bases. If we take out Paraguay, that'd be really good. We finally got some of this done as well, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Grab some better logistic companies because we can. Poaching through Lima. Just fighting through South America sucks overall. It just sucks every time. I don't know why I do this. Why do I keep going to war with these guys? Why? Because I want to take out South America always, I guess. And you guys are hanging out. You guys, you're still moving in. It just takes time to get over rivers. And do have some mountaineers here. Actually, I'm going to convert all of you guys to... Yeah. Can I convert you guys as well? Yeah. Alright, if you're all mountaineers, that's actually fine with me. They're basically the same thing. 40 combo with, with all the same stuff, so... Should have done that a lot while ago, too. Hey, we broke over the river. That's nice. Not bad. Oh, what is this? Brazil? Nope. Military occupation. It is what it is. After opening soup kitchens, we'll probably do found the welfare state. Every American must have a net, a series of programs to ensure prosperity and stability. This also guarantees a downtrodden people of America a lifeline when everyone or everything else has failed. So, what if our allies might take advantage of it? Not bad. Pretty good. I'm trying to help out the common man. Especially those who've been asunder by banks and those who enable the bankers. Hey, not bad. Pretty good. Yeah, we're going to need to raise our uh, conscription law, probably, again. Kind of sucks, but whatever. It happens. Go down here. Just race around the coast. Argentina sounds like a fun place. Well, maybe not a fun place, but an interesting place. Nice. Um, no. No. After the welfare state, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to integrate the underground economy. We need to do mass collectivization first. Which is over here. So, the Great Purge. Capone is nothing if not paranoid, and if a coup is to happen, it'll happen when we're not playing, paying close attention to our citizens. So, to, to snap out any possibility of a coup, Capone has begun the mass arrest of so-called enemies of the people, which... Wow! Minus 30% division organization, political powers, whatever, stability, war support, uh, factory... Oh my goodness, that is not good. That is really not good. Keep taking them out. Oh yeah, look at these guys. We sent that one tank to do stuff, and he did a great job. Oh, and just infantry too doing it too, so that's not bad. Argentina should capitulate. Well, they're more than halfway to capitulation, which is pretty nice. Um. All right. Well, you're taking a while to do that. Uh, Tizo. Tizo. I keep saying Tizo. Name's not Joseph. It's John. Close enough. Keep going. Keep going. They have a total of 72 divisions left, maybe max. Nice. More military factories? Good. We need more, way more armored cars because let's switch a lot of things over to armored cars, so. Way, 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 way more armored cars. Nice job, guys. You guys head to over here. That'd be fine. Go up to Mendoza. Nice. San Juan. Passive sonar. Grab some retreat speed because you can. Oh, I forgot. Look at this. 33 more. And another carrier. Look at that. Nice. You can go up there. Even though we have three curious here already, I mean that just that task force is probably going to be undefeatable unless you're fighting like the, all the Japanese navy at one time. So we're, we're doing well against Argentina. That's the only real nation we need to destroy here. So fuel is okay. Get some more extraction. We're probably going to need more rubber anyway. So that'd be very helpful. Keep going, keep going. As long as they don't in Mendoza, we'll probably take it and capitulate them. Grand Prix almost gone too. We need coach. Coca Bamba. Coca Bamba. Not bad. Right, that's not going to be enough for them, but down here, it is enough. My friends, we've done it. South America is pretty much all of ours, and we're going to take a massive hit to stability. But I'm glad we got through this before we took, finish that one focus there for the purges and stuff, so that's actually not too bad. 
Uh, if you guys want to do this, I guess so. I mean, it's not great, but it is what it is. Let's finish up this focus, and we'll read a few more focuses, so then... South America's looking really good. Oh, wait, did we, can we go to war with these guys, too? I have an Empire Assault in it. Didn't we just find these guys? I thought we did. Eh, we'll take them out anyways. It doesn't really matter. Who are we just fighting on? Oh, Ecuador. That's what it's taking so long. That's fine. I'm going to take them off off screen, but I want to finish some stuff up first. Uh, we'll probably try to naval invade Africa off screen, and then the next episode should be the last one, hopefully. We'll see what happens. The German Union is still trying to hang on. Oh, man. Uh, as well as the Union of Hanover. That's not looking good at all. Uh, the Copa Spirit Spirit looking pretty good, though. Looking pretty darn nice. I think we're doing pretty darn well as well. Oh, we can take out Mexico, too, if we really wanted to, just because the Third International is almost dead. They're just... Huh. Revoke guarantee, we might do that. Um, I might as well show you all this stuff. It really doesn't matter at all. Nope. It says we could help with them, but I don't really care. Hey, look. Stability is 43%. See that one? And what else? Of course, we're at war as well, but... Well, I guess we'll review focuses here. So then I'll get to these off screen. So we're going to do the Great Purge next, obviously. We were founding the Welfare State, which is not bad. But yeah, this is Great Purge is not very good. And, ooh, look at this. Revolutionary Officers of Strategic Services. Very cool. I'll get some active sonar first. There we go, nice. So, we're going to do this. And then, ooh, i get one more day, why not? Diesel-powered stuff. Modern naval guns. I don't like that. I have to wait to get modern naval guns. Usually, you can just you know, base game or, you know, normal um, mods. You can just click that one anyways. But anyways, Revolutionary Office of Strategic Services. Due to the unprecedented threat of counter-revolution, Comrade Capone has assembled a powerful secret police known as the Ross, Revolutionary Office of Strategic Services. With his new agency, Capone can keep his position secure and hunt down reactionaries. While well, at the moment, the Ross is just a counter-terrorism branch, its duties are expanding rapidly, and its tactics are getting results. Nice. More encryption, decryption, less damage to which we could use probably quite a bit. Oh, this would be very nice. And then, after that one, we can do... Expand the Ross. The Ross has proven much more effective than originally thought. Its duties are now more than counterterrorism. It now has a job of policing all Americans. Ross divisions patrol the streets and people lock the doors once again, or once agents go by. West. The ones in black boots take you into the night, never to be seen again. Vecchi aliata nuovi nemici? The Mafia were our loyal allies ever since the days of the war, but the old crime bosses are getting a bad rap here. And the question comes up whether we should purge our, our old allies or giving them a new life serving socialism. Mass collectivization. The rich have controlled the economy for too long. It's time to collectivize all the wealth stolen from the lower classes. So we may all benefit, reap its benefits. No one will stand in the way of collectivization. And tomorrow, we're going to maybe try to get to the make it the last episode and finish off playing as Capone. But if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like. Do please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. As we shall, you have all of North and South America under our boot. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.